Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to be breaking down the latest news around the NFL. Before we get started, though, please drop a quick like and a sub on today's video. That would really help my channel grow. I'd really appreciate that. With that said, let's dive right into the video, and I hope you enjoy. And this is a good move here by the New York Giants, going out and getting some off-the-line help, getting former Colts off-the-lineman Mark Lewinsky uh, on a three-year, $20 million deal with $11.4 million guaranteed. I actually think this is a really good deal uh, in both terms of years, player, and money for you know for the Giants. Uh, the, number one, they needed help on the off the line. That off the line has been dreadful for the past couple seasons. But more importantly, Glowinski is good. Like this guy, this guy was you know really solid with the Colts as an offensive guard over the past couple years. Obviously, he's on the same offensive line as like Quentin Nelson and you know some of the other talented players. Uh, that the Colts have had over the past couple seasons. But nonetheless, Glowinski emerged into a solid guard um, and a guy who could both be productive in the passing game and in the running game um, as both a blocking guy, as, as a pass blocker, and as a rush guy, as, as a guy who could push the pile a little bit. Um, but Glowinski, I mean, if you know, if you look at the numbers, especially you know, when I look, when I talk about off the lineman, normally I talk about PFF player grades because um, I feel like that's a pretty solid indicator of how they play. Because um, you can't just say, okay, this guy had this amount of sacks and this guy had this amount of penalties. It doesn't really give the entire picture. I think a PFF player grade for for an off the lineman um, gives a solid picture. And he had a 70.1 PFF player grade last year on 843 snaps, two penalties, two sacks allowed. Really good year. The year before that, played a thousand snaps. Um, 67.3 PFF. This guy's rock solid. Um, not really an injury concern guy for the most part. Um, and just a really solid guard that I think is going to be big for this Giants offense. I really like them getting Glowinski. Underrated signing, but really cheap deal for a player of his uh, caliber. I think he's worth much more than $7 million a year. And with that said, that's pretty much going to end the video for today. Did you agree with my analysis? Why or why not? Leave your comments and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you're new around here, please drop a like and a sub on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see ya.